Hi everyone, today I will be providing an overview of PORT. PORT is a no-code developer portal that lets platform engineers build a developer portal that fits the way they work. It is done by using several no-code elements that PORT provides to achieve the experience that you want for engineering to be autonomous and act freely. PORT is built out of a few main pillars. The first one is the software catalog, then you have the self-service actions, software maturity, and the workflow automation. These are the core elements and they interplay with each other. Next, you have role-based access control to enforce access to the portal and the actions defined in it. On top of all that, you have the R&D insights and reports, which allow you to gain deeper insight into the knowledge that you have inserted into your portal. Port is then consumed by a unified interface that can be either a UI, API, or chat app solution. The first pillar is Port Software Catalog. The catalog is meant to give you simple answers to complex DevOps questions. You can use it to answer things such as what is the current running version in production for a given service, who owns the microservice and where can I find the API docs for it, as well as answers to questions such as why did a deployment fail, who is the current on-call, and is a certain version production ready. The idea of the software catalog pillar is to give you a visibility layer to everything that happens in your organization and its infrastructure. The second pillar is the self-service actions pillar. These allow you to create and expose any kind of action that you want your developers to perform. You have complete control over the user inputs, title, and visual look of the action form. Then you can take the created action and connect it to existing workflows that you have already implemented in your organization. Port's software maturity pillar allows you to define scorecard which track key metrics that you care about and you want to set standards for in your organization. For example, you can look at the health of services and define how a, how a healthy service looks. You can also define what is the production readiness level of a service and let your team understand how to improve the service readiness of their different services that they own. Port's workflow automation layer lets you give machines the ability to query port to make automated decisions. For example, you can let your CI pipeline ask what is the maturity of a certain service and decide whether to go through with a deployment based on the answer. You can also perform tasks such as locking all of the environments if, for example, we're at the holiday season and you don't want any deployments to happen to production and port will say, for every service that it is locked, therefore it cannot be deployed. You can also use the workflow automation pillar to subscribe to certain triggers and events. For example, when, when a certain entity or property changes, you can run a specific script that will react to it, or you can react to certain events, for example, the TTL of a certain developer environment expiring and tear that environment down. Port provides a very granular role-based access control layer which lets you control exactly who in your organization has access to which resources and the level of interaction he has, he has which if, if, with each of them. Port provides a granular role-based access control layer which lets you decide for each resource in your software catalog which personas can interact with them and the level of interaction that they have. For example, you can create read-only views or decide that a specific user can only run a self-service action on specific resources, or maybe he only has the option to edit certain properties but not delete complete entities, etc., etc. And these permissions can be given on a per user, role, or team level to make it very granular and make it very comfortable to control who has access to what assets in your developer portal. Now, after you have all of the information actions, workflow automations, etc. in place, it is very easy to use port to generate reports and gain insights into the information inside your software catalog, asking about things such as the Dora metrics, deployment frequency, MTTR of your services, your operational readiness, or generating any custom report that might interest you and be of value to you and your organization. Up next, we will learn how to build your software catalog and get started with Port. 